Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you finally. I've been trying every which way I could, uh, listening to you on Velocity, all the uh, videos that I could possibly squeeze in because I kind of work during the day. But I did put a question in the, the chat. Listening at you when you say you got money, I felt the pain, so I know what it is that I'm talking about. I took my money out of my 401k and I just have it sitting in the bank. But since I saw you and the way that you were talking about having an uh, insurance policy that I could borrow from and yet let it grow better than what the 401k would do, and that's what I want to do. Eventually, 10 exit. Okay, so All let's right. see. All right, so your question was, I'm a newbie to Velocity Banking, fully employed, monthly net income is 3,452 plus 1,451 from Social Security. And you wanna purchase a policy that you can borrow to pay off debts. But before we jump into all of that, let's go over what are all of your current debts that you have and then we're gonna go over what your net uh, cash flow is, okay? And go ahead and unmute yourself again, and then I'll stay quiet, this way there's not too much echo. Break down for me your net cash flow at the end of every month. What are you looking at? Okay, at the end of every month, let me see, I have, well, I just got the, the fourteen twenty one coming in. That's pure cash flow that I just started. The fourteen um, fourteen fifty one? Fourteen twenty. Mm-hmm. Social Security just, just started for me. That's why I got the lump sum thing there. Okay. So you're cash flowing one thousand four fifty one a month. Right, and, and, and probably a little bit more. I net like thirty four twenty one. I got the mortgage of five hundred. Some storage fees, say another attack on another five. Uh, I have a student loan, but it's in forbearance right now. But once that starts, I'll probably be about five hundred dollars a month. Okay, so in a month, what is the total amount of money outgoing? In a month, I would say at least about, oh, about 1700 close to 1700 Okay, so we got 3421 plus 1451, so we're at 4872 total income minus $1,700. So that means you're cash flowing three thousand one seventy two. Yep, close to that, yes. All right. And your current age is? I'm sixty seven. Okay. And do you have any savings currently? Uh, ten thousand. And then, how much did you say you stripped from the four hundred one k? Um, actually, I took out like 13. I did some home improvements. Or I started uh, some home improvements. Did you take 13 as a loan or just a straight up withdrawal? Uh, straight up with, withdrawal. Okay. Distribution. Uh, distribution. From that 13, how much do you have left? About 10.5. Okay. So I got 20,500. Yes? Yes. All right. And do you currently have a debt tool, P-Lock or HELOC, anything like that? No. All right. What's your credit score? My credit score is low because I had some collection accounts, but there's nothing that I can't just pay off out of what I have right now. Got it. And then, and then uh, try to build some new credit. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll put that on the to-do list. You know, just try to fix our credit, build that up. So you said mentioned you have a student loan and a mortgage, correct? Yes. What's the mortgage at currently owed? The mortgage is at uh, thirty-five. Thirty-five K. 
What's the value on it? Uh, say about 85. And what's the payment? Payment is like 350 a month, but I pay 500. Okay, and what's the interest rate? Uh, 6.75. So we do have capital, we do have the cash flow. Um, what would you say your health wise? Do you have any, you know, conditions that would, you know, deter life insurance or would you say you're fairly no. he healthy overall? I'd say fairly healthy overall. Okay. Cool. And what state are you in? Hold up, uh, Pennsylvania. All right. Well, that's actually where um, Steve Parisi has his office over at um, IBC Global, so oh. yeah, not too far. Pretty okay. sure you're, you're you're local to him. Now I did sign up as an agent under you. It's just that I have a, you know, I'm still trying to get the training and stuff together uh, to learn how to do this. It's a, and it's imperative too. It's, it's more than this that I'm getting into it. Um, I'm a housing counselor, certified by HUD. I'm also the director too of my agency. And we are a specialized niche. I don't know if you know what housing counselors are or what we do, but financial capabilities is definitely what we do. And I'm spreading the word to them because I think this is something that I see can work for me. And I'm quite sure it can work for them as well as our clients that we see. And in this you know, pandemic, financial situation is looking kind of bleak. But right. if I could deliver the story like how you do it, um, it would help a lot of people. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So I think, you know, just looking at our capital, if we're willing to, you know, implement this infinite banking concept. We have to we have to come up with a number that is reasonable, I'd say practical, easy to do. And we'll we'll look at the numbers. We'll see, okay, does it make sense to you know, put a policy on yourself at at this age or this type of life insurance policy? Um, or could we consider maybe other individuals that may be younger than us? in the family that we could maybe leverage. That's what I'm talking about. I got grandkids. I, got, I have grandchildren. So we pick one of them. Okay. About what? Well, I'm saying, listen, I've been in insurance too. That's why I like yeah. this because the training that I had to do to get my license is nothing compared to what it is right now. You know, the ability of what it is that I can do. Right. So the concept is there. It's just like I, I have to learn how to do it. So you said you got your insurance agent's license? Uh, yes, I'm signing up on you. Awesome. Uh, so you, have you communicated with um, the IBC Global team yet? No one has reached out to me. Um, Sebastian Boyer is my trainer. And uh, I'm supposed to be on a call with you on the 12th. But I'm glad I could get in today because, you know, time is of the essence. And I don't want to part with this money. I don't want to do that. I want to, you know, make the right decision so that Got I can it. continue to go on. Got it. So when you say agent, are you referring to the UFF? Yes. Oh, okay. Not an insurance agent. No. No. Oh, okay. I'm okay. UFF. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So that's different company. Got it. I thought you. I thought you said you got your life insurance license. So that would be different. No. Yeah. All right. No. Um, and and you've had haven't had any communication with um, IBC Global yet, correct? No. No, I haven't. All right, so then that'll be our first steps, is to just establish a relationship with them, and mm -hmm. and let's see what kind of information we can gather, what kind of uh, policies we can get designed. Um, the cash flow being at three thousand plus a month. What I usually do is I just kind of lowball it. I'll just do three thousand times twelve. It's thirty six thousand a year. And then I take that number times it by 66%. So it's $23,700. So anywhere between 
or as high as like 30,000 is what you know I could ideally uh, fund a policy with and then okay, so would you're that only incur the monthly because uh, I'm looking to just to do the monthly uh, social security check I'm still working that's something new I'm just getting it to contribute that to it every month and I don't know what type of policy that would occur or how much of a policy that would occur but I'd be willing to put that into it every month for sure put what the social security social security mm-hmm yeah, so when we're funding a policy, ideally what I like to do is fund it all at once for the whole year, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you said uh, you've, you've got 20000 sitting in a bank no, I account. I've got 10. No, 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 I have 10. I have 10 in bank account. So what happened to that money that you withdrew, that 13000 That's where it is. It's in the bank account. Got it. So... When I asked you savings was ten thousand, you meant that was from the four hundred one k. Right. That's what. Yes. Okay. So we have a net of ten five, ten thousand five hundred. Right. Yes. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So with ten thousand five hundred, and then with the infinite banking process, putting a policy in place, getting it funded, going through underwriting, it take roughly about maybe two months. So I think. You could come up with about maybe fifteen to sixteen thousand to probably start with, mm-hmm. and then if you wanted to uh, increase that number, have it be a little bit bigger, mm-hmm. then then we could create the space to do so. So like if you're like, all right, I want to, I want to start with fifteen thousand, and I want the ability to dump in another ten or another fifteen. And then we'll just have to decide over what time period do we want that to be, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then we want to decide for how long. Um, oh no, what are we going to use the policy for, right? And you've already mentioned well, you want to pay off some debt, but do you have any other things that you would like to, you know, implement into this with this strategy? I need a, a vehicle. My husband is a vet uh, who's disabled, so with the rollator and stuff, I need to have a, even if it was used, but I definitely need to have an upgrading vehicle. I didn't just want to go okay. out and buy it, you know, or, right. or finance it like that. So we can potentially use infinite banking as a financing tool to get the vehicle that you want. That's mm-hmm. That's one option. How soon do we need to get that done? I would like to get it done as soon as possible. I mean, I keep looking at stuff. I rented okay. vehicles and then paid a thousand dollars just because I liked it. And you know, I just put put the rollator in there, oxygen machine in there, and we keep rolling. Got it. Got it. So if we're looking to get that done as soon as possible, we're definitely going to want to get our credit up so that mm-hmm. we can, you know, so I'm assuming we're going to have to finance, you know, a vehicle if you're going to. You know, uh, purchase it outright, uh, especially a new vehicle. Now, does husband have income coming in as well? He has income coming in of about twenty four hundred, but then there's a mortgage on a house of nineteen seventy one. So you guys have two mortgages, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so with his twenty four hundred, he pays that mortgage, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Right. Yes. So he'll net about five hundred cash flow. Or less. Or less, yeah. Alright. So we definitely need a... And you say you're still working. You yes. Jo- you joined the UFF business. Yes. Right? Uh, and you want to, you know, promote that. Build a yes. stream of income from that. Is there any other say skills or trade or something that you want to get into to i'm a realtor as well as a notary as well so uh, okay. i have we have a property which is free and clear but it needs work and i didn't know how to go about getting that done it's in the same neighborhood that we live in which is fairly pretty good houses are going for like i would say between 80 and 120 thousand in that vicinity and you know 
we could easily rent it out. Rents are going for like a thousand dollars a month. The house would have to be fixed up in order to do it. Got it. All right, so we got a couple of things here. So realtor, notary, we got the UFF business that we can, that you want to build out. And then you're working with Sebastian. Um, and then you're 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 currently in the manifesto, right? Yes, I am. And what are you what are you paying the the annual or the monthly? What did you start? I with? paid the. Um, let me see, I paid the. Would that would be for the ninety nine dollars? Okay. That okay. The an, yeah. So that's the annual. Okay. Cool. And then uh, my husband is in it too because he's a vet, so I pulled him in as well. Okay. All right. And how old is husband? 84. Okay. All right. And then how old are the grandchildren you, you mentioned? Mm, my grandchildren range from, let's see, we got the one at 25, mm -hmm. uh, one at 16, 17, and the youngest one is about seven. Okay. So what we'll first do is see what you know the cost would look like on a 67 year old female fairly healthy with uh, you know some of the insurance companies right so we'll, we'll, we'll do that first through uh, okay and, and IBC global will, will help on this then if the numbers don't make sense right if it's like just too expensive mm -hmm. um, then we might want to take a look at putting a policy on the 25 year old where, where you're the owner, so right. you, have, you have control over the cash value, and then we use that cash value to, to target, say, the the mortgage. What was the balance on the student loan? I didn't get that. Student loan is like 50000 And And is it on forbearance right now? or It's on forbearance right now. That's current. Got it. What were you paying per month? Fifteen dollars. I just been kept paying fifteen dollars, and then you know, of course, we went into the COVID. Right. And that so hasn't that's a, changed yet, but I know more yeah. likely it will. So that's a super low payment. So we'll definitely direct our attention towards the mortgage, and because the mortgage is actually a lesser debt than the student loan, so it actually makes a ton of sense. And then as we get our credit up, then we definitely want to, you know, use the equity in that property to uh, potentially make some moves with this now there's an let's say infinite banking doesn't make sense for you there's another uh, thing I recently came across and you can talk to Sebastian Boyer on this mm -hmm. uh, it's called premium financing just write that down premium financing I don't know a whole lot about it I uh, got introduced to it actually today I was on the phone with Sebastian and uh, another another gentleman in my local area uh -huh. and the gist of it is just like infinite banking we're using our own money to fund a policy with premium financing we use our own money to fund a policy but we also get uh, assistance from the banking institutions so say a bank is willing to put money into our policy mm -hmm. we would fund it ourselves for I'd say a number of years in the in the beginning mm -hmm. and then the bank takes over starts throwing money into our policy actually giving us a much higher death benefit um, and then a uh, a tax-free stream of income later down the road now, like I said, don't know all the information, which is why I, I like to present things privately amongst clients here to, you know, do some research and then we'll have another dialogue at a later time. I can also bring in um, some, some experts that have some experience around it, but that could be an alternative if infinite banking doesn't make sense by itself alone, like doing the whole life insurance thing. But then we also have this 25 year old the only disadvantage to that is the amount of money we could put into that policy. It would, it would, I'm assuming it would be a lot less, depending on how much that individual is is making 
you know, if they have a job, you know, and depending on what their job is, they do, uh, there's like a multiplier based on your income per year, allowing uh, the insurance company, allowing us to overfund a policy on that individual. Obviously, the advantage is that they are um, healthy, so the cash value is going to, you know, perform a lot better than someone in their 50s or 60s, right, or 70s. So we're, we're going to evaluate that. I think those are the beginning steps. Any questions there? Any any thoughts, or is that pretty straightforward? No, that, that's, I'm just so appreciative that you're taking the time out of your busy schedule in order to, you know, look into this for me. So thank you very much, and, and I'm willing to follow your lead at this, at this point in time because I don't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, in regards to the, the UFF business, that's just a matter of us, you know, marketing, talking to people. Um, you know, it's a software. It helps people pay off their debt in the fastest way mathematical possible if people put in their numbers, you know, correctly. So that's a bit of a learning curve uh, with that, I would say. But, you know, definitely a nice... Uh, stream of income that can get passed on which is pretty cool when you, when you get involved in those network marketing companies you're able to you know have a beneficiary take over your 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 place in the company if anything were to happen to you so th those are those are that's a cool benefit there um so i took a little note here i'm going to send an email to my team okay submit some numbers and then see what we can get. And then I'm gonna have a agent over at IBC Global set up a phone call with you, talk to you, and try and provide more education around the product itself so you can become fully aware like and confident on, on how it works. Okay, I appreciate that, thank you so much. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring in the next person here. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. God bless. Talk soon. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All right. Bye.